we go. Ready? Episode 15 of Puzzle Time with uh, Tony and Tyler. He's Tony, I'm Tyler. Did you do one by yourself last time? No, I did. No? I thought you were going to. Tony was gone last week, so we didn't shoot. He was out in, what, Lloyd? Medicine Hat. No, nope, Medicine, Medicine Hat. Hat. Today. So we want to start off with the interesting stuff. Yeah, the interesting right. stuff. Go with, the, go with that one first? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So this is from, what's the company? Rumble. Rumble. R-O-M-B-O-L. Rumble. Yes. In case you're wanting to search it out. Now this puzzle was actually, uh, I came into work this morning and uh, Alan had it out and he was talking to me about it. So Alan, the puzzle master, he said it's really hard. It's only, a, I think, a level eight, right? Level eight. Oh. <laughs> they all kind of like interlock in there? Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. Are they all like this? No, well, it comes apart. Yeah. yeah, but are they all like this shape? No, it's so. This is the thing that when I was talking with Al about this, he was saying that like so. I mean, and it's obvious. I mean, you got the straight pieces that fit in oh, okay, easy, I see, yeah. and then you've got these curved pieces, and these these are these whatever shape that is, U shaped. Those are the hard ones to fit in, right? All right. Well, uh, it back. doesn't come solved. So it does not, which is good. You're a fan of that, always. Yeah. Your goal with this puzzle is to figure out how to get this thing all the way to the bottom, right? The, the lid? Like this the little lid? lid? Yeah, yeah, like you're trying to get these pieces inside. I like that. Yeah. I, I would, I'd would i play with this one and try it out. That's pretty neat, actually. This, I, I thought it's this puzzle of looked cool. Okay. Yeah, so there is... How many were in here? Six balls. When I first saw this, I thought like there's a lid that came off. I was like, what is this? A packing puzzle of some kind? No, all you gotta do is get the six balls out from inside. That's it. Huh. I love the look of this. I, I yeah. think the look is the coolest thing on this puzzle. This feels like one you could just kinda play with and shake and eventually it just kinda like self-solves. Dude, yeah, <laughs> they, but they talked to the schedule, but that won't happen. It's a level seven. So it's not it's it's level easier seven, than the yeah. guillotine. Seven, I feel like, is a, like a doable level for you and me. It's on the top end, maybe our our, our skills. skills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you create because it's obviously about creating the space to have a ball slide to the center. And yeah, out. so you kind of need to do that three and three, and then figure out. Yeah, Tower of London, level seven. That's for, again from Ron Ball. Let's do the last one here. Dude, this is going to be our puzzle challenge right here. This is a weird one again, like. I, I've never seen too much by Rommel, but this getting into their stuff, there's some pretty neat ones. And this one is the same uh, as, as that Tower of London in terms of like, it's different. It's really different idea to it. So I don't know. sticks, all with holes in them. Yeah, so 12 equal wood pieces with a central hole must be put together so that no hole is visible from any side. I don't, what level is this? Uh, not very high. This is six. a level six. But again, it's designed by that Dr. Volker Latusik. Latusik. By Romball. And uh, yeah, so 12 pieces. I don't know if you guys have any ideas, but I am stumped on this, at least initially here. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's some that. of the stuff. So if you guys like this, man, Romball has some really neat things, and they have probably good. I don't know, 15, 20 puzzles that, that Puzzle Master yeah. has. So, you won the uh, design competition with that casino one, right? Oh, this guy, this is the guy this who did the casino. Same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that casino is a good one. It's uh, like coin shapes that fit into a yeah. box. Yeah, Rumble's definitely worth checking out, man. That is, that's some neat stuff. Take Break a look at this. Okay. Yeah. New Haniyama. Yeah. The Huzzle line of things. It's called the Cast Rotor. This puzzle is weird because it's their hardest difficulty. It's a level six Hanayama 10 puzzle master and it's two pieces. How is a two piece puzzle that difficult? Seriously, Dude, it is. Like, have you played with this one? I played with it a little bit. Like I got stuff moving, but it, it doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Dude, I cannot get anything moving on okay, this no, no. It, it, it's because it's a weird spot. It's right there. It's that right there is the movement. It comes over this weird, like, okay, so it, yeah. it comes over the edge. Uh, we have a Hanayama group page on Facebook. Uh, lots of people. So if you like actually Hanayama, check out our, our Facebook group called the Hanayama Puzzle Enthusiasts. 
And uh, there's a ton of guys talking about this one on there. There were there's some people that, that I seem like it was it was a good one. It was well uh, well received by the community there. So so yeah, that's Hanayama's cast rotor. It's brand new from them. Uh, if you guys want to see more of it, actually, uh, Mr. No, not Mr. Puzzle, Puzzle Guy did a video on it just recently. And so he released a. I mean, I'm sure he showed us the solution in there. I haven't watched it, but yeah. Puzzle Guy does some great things, and he, he has, has this Hanayama on there. And then, uh, what else was I seen? There was Chris Ramsey. Yeah, he has... Okay, guys, you got to see the puzzle box that Chris Ramsey did. It's called the Mechanigma. It's a giant, crazy-looking puzzle box. So it's, like, it's huge, and it's got this, like, steampunk look almost to it with... There's a bunch of 3D printed pieces on the outside. So there's like all this stuff that smooths around. He opens the box or something inside of it. It's by a company called NKD. I've never heard of them before. But uh, yeah, it's it's great, great puzzles. It's from Europe because they, they sold it. It was like, I think the puzzle cost 2,300 euros. So it's, it's crazy. It's right up Chris's line, man. Hard, big, and just super cool looking. And then Mr. Puzzle did something too uh, called the it's escape escape room in a box I think, mm -hmm. and it's called the Clue Box. It's from uh, ID Venture. Yeah. Just pull, let's just pull it all out together. Sure. This is all from the very famous Oscar Van Deventer. Oscar Van Deventer. This is all 3D printed. Uh, this one was the Impossible. No, no, no. no. Ring, Ring bracelet. bracelets. Yeah, ring bracelet. That's level level 10. ten. I think these. Yeah, this no. one had ten rings on it. See, and this one's funny too because like the pieces come across, so each piece is like this long. It's weird that, that these so... like feel soft. Yeah, it's a it's it's interesting material that three D printed stuff, and these are yeah. really thin. Like I'm actually surprised how thin they are. So they almost feel fragile, but not. Like there's some, yeah. They're small, so it's cool. You could actually, you actually could wear these as a ring. Okay, so this is eight track. This one's a ten. That one's a ten. Yeah. This one has ten rings. That one has eight. Yep. And this is uh, the brand new one. So these are not new. That is new. The rainbow ring. Yeah. Level eight, six, uh, six layers. What What was cool about this one is they kind of like interlock like that, eh? So then, like, when you're pulling it apart, it's got to come apart like this. When you put it back together, you kind of snap it all into place yeah. like that. I played with some of these rings. We have metal ones too. They're ridiculous. Yeah. Like ridiculous, dude. That one just looks cool. I think that looks a lot neater than the green ones. Mm -hmm. That's Two cool. With the different colors. And it's cool that they come into it in a ring box too, like an actual jewelry box. And yeah, well packaged. And then this is a different one called the Impossible. Impossible. That's a level eight. eight we should actually recommend. that one's eight. So they, these green yep. ones are ten, obviously because there's more more rings, more. Yeah, in the ring. Um, this one is level, in level eight. eight. It's made with that th same three D printed material, and um, yeah, it's six interlocking pieces. You obviously got to take it apart and put it back together. That's some of the, the neat stuff that that Oscar Van Deventer does um, with his three D printing. We just got the Excalibur back in. Yeah, is it still in stock? Uh, yeah, I think we got, we ordered a lot, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good, that's good. So Excalibur's back. We did do a post on Facebook about that, but if you haven't, uh, haven't got your Excalibur, man, get it well you can, because I guarantee that puzzle is going to be sold out soon enough anyway. But, uh, Chris, Chris does the video, actually. If you haven't seen that video of uh, Excalibur, he did the video. The puzzle defeated him the first time. He couldn't get it. So he did a second did video. Did it, nice. Mr. Puzzle? Also did one. They had some kind of cool crossover. I think Chris may have broke his, if I remember right. And then Mr. Puzzle offered to send him a new one. Yeah, Excalibur is crazy hard. I think Chris has said it's one of the hardest puzzles he's ever done. And uh, it's from Pelican. It's a level ten, obviously. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Check us out on uh, YouTube. You can subscribe there. Click the little bell to get the notifications. Check us out on Facebook. You can like our page there. And then we have a whole bunch of little groups. I talked about the Hanayama group today. So we have some different groups there for stuff. Um, so you can like our, our page there. And then uh, on Instagram, you can uh, check us out there as well. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Episode 15. 15? 1, 5? Mm -hmm. Puzzle time with Tony and Tyler. He's Tony. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Thank you.